Hi, I am Magnus, and today I want to use my board, but I hope to have caption, captions. Um, last two videos, I'm so sorry I didn't realize the video was reversed. My camera usually mirrored the image, so I didn't have to worry to edit that. that. Um, it's not doing it anymore, I don't know why. As you may know or not know, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia back in 2015 and since then uh, multiple new symptoms uh, have appeared and worsened. Back in December of last year, my left hand uh, started hurting really bad to the point I couldn't even move it when walking. Uh, so I started using bandages. Nothing has worked to improve that yet, and while I have been pain-free for about a week, on Friday my right hand started hurting, softly, then mildly, and today that I was gonna record is hurting a tad more. So, bandages on my dominated hand. I was uh, actually studying AL ASL uh, some hours ago, when my right hand decided it didn't like to do the signs and made me feel pain. So that's about my health. I'm uh, following with the rheumatologist to try and find what's going on since he doesn't believe it's fibro. I have two, two more tests to undergo, so let's see what happens. In another update, I still have uh, the same job harder to continue because of stress, illness, and the fact that it's not my passion. The passion is not helping, but I'm also following uh, with a psychologist. Apart from that, I am trying to continue on drawing and preparing the comics and manga I spoke about like three years or ago or more. I'm so sorry for taking this long. I wish I could say it's all because of fibro, but depression, anxiety, and my own self-doubt has made me take the long route. But I'm hoping to slowly get there. I'm going to, no matter what, update my patron about that. Until I can figure a website for it. It will have, for now, the sketches, the rough drafts, uh, for everything I do on that matter. Also, because it's way easier for me to type than draw or handwriting, uh, my hands take longer to numb or cramp or hurt in general when typing. Um, I can also type from my bed or even dictate to my computer. I think the novels will come out sooner. I ho I'm hoping to get at least uh, one comic and two novels before Pride. I would love to do more, but I have to play nice with my body. I want to. I want everything to be as close to perfection as I can. These works are not coming out out of nowhere. I have pages of pages of pages of characters, designs, references, plot, and I'm. While I haven't posted anything, I have. I have been working on them for more than three years. I hope. Obviously, the results are not only pleasing, but you can identify with the characters, enjoy the themes and all that. I will leave the link to my Patreon, so you can check if you like the sketches and stuff. But please don't feel pressure to become one. I won't have a study schedule, uh, steady scheduled yet. Yet, what happened to my language? I won't have a steady schedule yet. Um. There's not gonna be anything to give you back to you, like rewards. I'm just using the Patreon page because it allows you to comment. Because I worked on that site a long time ago. And I haven't been able to set up a website for it. A proper website. Because that's what I want to do. Next update. About the YouTube channel, I'm going to be trying to upload more frequently. I may ask my sister to help out with captions, since it's so taxing to type, even if it's not as bad as writing. 
but I will try to upload at least twice a month. I'm also going to be centering a lot of my videos on mental health, not only because of what's going on with me, but also because of what's, uh, of what's going on worldwide, how bad thing the situation is worldwide. Uh, if I can, uh, if I can at least help one person, it's all gonna be worth it. If you have any specific topic you want me to cover or something to comment on how to caption anything, I will appreciate if you comment down below. Also, if you could comment on my videos in general, because I don't have much feedback on them. I don't know if the board ever helped anyone uh, or if I need to really use captions because handwriting might be not readable to anyone. So please do comment so that I know what to do. Uh, my YouTube channel is never gonna be monetized uh, and it's gonna remain like that all the time because I want it to be uh, only for information and education for everyone, right? Uh, what else? So. Finally, about my transition, I'm officially six years on transition. Around this time, I came out to the first person ever. Though I had come out to myself back in 2013, 2013, I took a long-ass time to come out to the outside. So, in 2017, I started with tea gel at first because it's constant and keeps the same rhythm but soon I changed it to um, the depot because it's not as expensive. I don't have any coverage here for that. Um, I turned it one year on T in November 26, 2018 but soon afterwards, like three months afterwards, I had to stop because of money. No, I'm um, now. I'm not detransitioning. I'm just taking a forcefully imposed break. Unfortunately, my health doesn't allow me to keep a good economy. Between paying for painkillers, appointments, tests, uh, also uh, debt. Unfortunately. Uh, and helping at home, I haven't been able to pay for tea. COVID has obviously made things even harder because uh, stuff is a tad more expensive. My health has also worsened during COVID uh, to the point I can't do side jobs I was doing with illustrations and designs. Um, also trying to help more at, ho uh, at home, economically speaking help my little sister who was accepted to art college. I'm super proud of her and I want her to have all the support that I didn't have back when I was 19 or 20 and I wanted to follow an art career. So, I'm around two years without tea and these are the changes. Quote unquote changes. Uh, first, Bleeding never stopped, uh, strange, uh, but strangely, it has to structure it better. Um, no longer having 20 days of pain and 15 of bleeding. Now it's 8 days of pain and 10 of bleeding. Also, it's following a schedule, finally. Uh, though I'm feeling more fatigued during that time, more than usual, but that could also be covid or fibro, or whatever I have. Uh, my voice never uh, dropped, so that's a pain in the ass, but I'm working to overcome the feeling till I get back with tea. Uh, but uh, who would have thought my facial hair is still growing? I can't believe it myself, but last month I discovered my hand solo has three musketeers beside it. Also, on my cheeks, there's more fluff. And my mustard is not only still growing, but darkening. Mind you, it's still light as hell. To the point that you can't see it, uh, even when I use bro gel to darken it. 
but it wasn't there before and it's there now so i'm loving it the um the genital growth uh tmi sorry the genital growth did decrease but not as not as much as i thought uh some of it remained and i'm quite pleased with it it does help to curve the bottom dysphoria my hair hasn't stopped falling uh it's not as bad but i'm not sure if the falling came because of the tea or because of fibro or just basic genetics i mean my dad doesn't have hair so well and that uh also uh Mm, no, and that's basically it. The reason I haven't spoken much about this is not because it affects me greatly. Um, it's more like I don't want to affect people with comments on uh, um, comments by me on how not having tea after waiting for five years plus to have it and now not having it uh, and how can it really bring me down sometimes this word is not something you can overcome easily but tea helps but it's not the cure right i'm still struggling i really want to go back to my medical transition i'm even considering a uh, top surgery but i want people to know that stopping surgery or stopping uh, medical transition in general taking longer to start it or anything is not the end of the world it the most important thing is to keep trying as best as you can to learn what it means to be yourself whether that is male female non-binary fluid only you can define that for yourself and that will help with the disconnect we feel from our bodies to our minds uh, it won't eliminate the dysphoria but it does help being able to have my hair short or long without thinking do i look male because to me when i see myself in the mirror i am masculine as fuck i am happy i think even that i look manlier with longer hair and I'm thoroughly enjoying the idea of makeup and dresses. I have even wore some skirts with my hairy masculine legs. And I feel so wonderful. It's, uh, it takes time. It won't happen overnight. Uh, it won't happen just by saying it. But it will. So when I go back uh, on tea and changes happen... I will take everything else on stride and it will lift me up even more. Well, that's all for today. I hope uh, to have another real video next week. And uh, thank you for subscribing, for watching the videos. I'm still speechless whenever I see 200 plus people. Uh, thank you, really. Again, um... Uh, I have said this a lot, a lot of times, but I never thought I was going to have more than five subscribers. And then I thought like, okay, let's say 17, but then it became 50 and 100 and 200 plus. And it's, it's really great because it makes me think that I'm helping people, that I'm giving information that makes them either feel better or to guide them. To discover themselves i don't dictate dictate anyone's path i'm just giving options ideas and trying to help right i hope i'm hope i'm helping someone because this is what i wanted to have back when i was 13 and i didn't understand what was going on in my mind right so thank you really again thank you uh, and I, as always, I'm going to leave my Instagram and all the links, also the Patreon link. Don't become a patron, really. Just uh, check the link 
for the sketches and all that things. I will really appreciate comments on them. I will also upload some of it to my Instagram, but not everything. I'm not comfortable showing everything there because there's not a lot of protection to my content. Uh, and that's my baby project. But I will up upload some of it. And maybe even to my Facebook that it's basically dead for now. Uh, so yeah, that will be all. See ya.